All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna show you what I packed for this three months hitchhiking trip around Europe. The trip started exactly on October 4th and ended on November 3rd. So that's practically like one day shy of three months, okay? And the reason why I did that uh, that way is just in case if, you know, like there's a three month kind of a period that is allowed for Americans to be in Europe. So I just wanted to like just to be on the safe side. So there's like one day in case if something shifts in terms of airlines, uh, fl uh, flight uh, changes or whatever. This is what I packed practically. This whatever you see here is uh, what I took with me on the road as well as the Strider bike. As you can see the Strider bike, it saved my ass quite a few times along uh, my trip hitchhiking around Europe, visiting, uh, what, 10 countries and arriving uh, in Berlin, actually, in the beginning of August. So that's practically 11 countries visiting. I took this bag, as you can see, it's a German bag that I purchased in Israel when I had to uh, buy uh, a backpack okay um, what makes this bag special is the fact that it's got this ventilation tank here you see there's space and it's called Dur Dutter air comfort so it's really convenient bag and it's you know it's certified for carry-on so it, like it doesn't go beyond the carry-on uh, like limits as far as the the size and weight and things of that nature. It's got side pockets on the side. If you can see, you just see what I'm saying. So, in the left pocket, I kept everything related to toiletries. You know, uh, this uh, container for soap, uh, deodorant, uh, toothbrush, uh, you know, Q-tips and stuff like that. And uh, on the right side, I, you know, I, I shave, like, you know, the shaving uh, kind of a uh, gear. So there's like a little clipper I have here, you know, nose trimmer. I have a big nose, by the way. <laughs> Take a look. Anyway, also, uh, in the same pocket, I, I put uh, markers, just in case if I needed to make a new sign, a uh, hitchhiking sign, and this really, really useful uh, flashlight. It's called Phoenix L2D and uh, what makes it special is that it's LED light it's pretty bright and it also has this in case of, of emergency I never had to use it much I mean only in the case of uh, you know when uh, <clears throat> I was coming uh, to Istanbul and we had to make a stopover at night uh, somewhere in the mo in the woods uh, with three German guys who were, you know, who I hitchhiked with uh, from Sofia, from Bucharest actually. What makes this bag special also is got a, a bottom compartment and you can also like unzip it from here and having to kind of have the, the bottom of it even deeper all the way to the bottom. See what I'm, see what I'm saying? And there's like mesh you can put bottle I took this bottle on the trip. It's really useful. It's uh, almost one liter, 750 milligrams, and it's from Camelback. Okay, and uh, one of these things to uh, attach it on the handlebars of my Strider. So it was really useful. Now, uh, what was I saying? Right, on my next trip, I'm gonna take this particular Z pack. Do you see zpacks.com? It's made from sail, uh, sail cloth and it's water resistant and it's like really really durable and it's practically like weightless because uh, this backpack is actually it could be somewhere around uh, one kilogram or something like that I don't know no maybe more a couple of kilograms and that really may kill your shoulders along the way let's move on on the clothing what, what I got for clothing for this trip so remember it was the uh, the end of uh, the summer, so August 4th, right? This is the the pair of pants I took with me. It's by Energy. I love Energy. It's a really good company, Italian company. Uh, I think it's much more innovative in terms of uh, design than Diesel or any other uh, Italian cloth maker. Now, 
in my back pocket which was uh, protected by uh, the button I kept my passport and my wallet okay I took only one thousand dollars in cash and that lasted me for the whole three month period for food so that's practically like um, ten dollars a day or something like that and uh, with whatever left uh, you know I used uh, to buy a rain jacket so in the right pocket in the run right front pocket I have this cloth it's for cleaning the lens of this camcorder alright I always keep that in my pocket a pen and what else in the left pocket left front pocket I kept the mp3 player it's really useful to entertain me when I'm hitchhiking when I'm all alone on the road so the mp3 player and this uh, HTC incredible uh, mobile phone uh, what makes this uh, mobile special is the fact that it's got GPS, Wi-Fi, everything else except GSM connectivity. So there's no SIM card for European uh, operators, uh, you know, the telephone operators. But, uh, you know, that actually saved me a lot of money for the fact that I didn't have to buy any SIM cards or anything like that. So, uh, uh, also, the cable, as you can see, that cable that goes right into the... HTC incredible and the fact that you know GPS saved my ass I never actually took any maps any paper maps on the road for three months hitchhiking so imagine that so I was using GPS uh, there's a program called the uh, map droid was really really useful and I used it all along the strip okay so aside from uh, from the pants I took one jean jacket this jacket is actually, you will not believe, it's like, uh, let's see, probably 10 years old, something like that. I took it uh, into the backpack, I put it all the way on the bottom because it was still summertime, so I didn't have to use it. Okay, I took this uh, kind of a sweater-like kind of a jacket, okay, with a zip-up. And it's very important to, to take one of these with a zip-up, uh, because, zipper. Uh, because this way you can control the temperature in case if you know it's not too cold you can just uh, you know unzip a little bit or whatever now aside from that I took three long sleeve uh, shirts okay this shirt the the black one a little uh, kind of a thinner fabric also with the long sleeves and pretty much the same thickness of fabric with long sleeves this green one so uh, why are they all together right now is because it's November and it was already cold so I had to use all three as like you know a thicker kind of sweater like kind of a shirt or something like that and uh, what's important about this is that uh, you don't take one sweater and it's like you don't um, you don't sweat uh, during like when it's not too cold you know so this way you just layer it up you you just put layer by layer okay so this is a t-shirt sleeve uh, without sleeves okay one two three four five six seven and this is for going out like you know when you go out and you know partying and stuff I celebrated my birthday uh, uh, October 18th uh, while I was in Vienna so you know I had to wear one of these presentable shirts you know with my really good friends Pauline and Franz okay so I could get around without so many shirts okay but I took them uh, on the trip. Next trip I will probably be able to survive uh, with only like one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Not more than that. So, how many pieces of underwear did I take? One, two, three, four. This is swim, uh, swimwear. I never get got to swim during this time. And I got one, two, three four five uh, five pairs of uh, socks 
and I was giving as a gift uh, for my birthday two more from Pauline one two so that's like seven socks but you can take uh, what five maximum to uh, not to kill your shoulders uh, this I took also it's a speaker it's by uh, Altec Lansing in motion and uh, this is a recharger for this it's, it's got a five, ba uh, five hour battery why I needed that it's for my art project uh, it's a dancing project called I dance you can visit the website is uh, the website is um, da -da -da -dum -dum -dum, www.imtv.us you can see what I do all over the world I took another uh, pair of pants with me it was useless and it was weighing me down so I just left it in Berlin before getting on the auto stop trip the hitchhiking trip so I left the this pair of pants and I also took my laptop like almost uh, eight nine pounds laptop I uh, it's not here right now it's in the other room but you get the idea I just I just couldn't take it on the road because I I would have killed my shoulders you know with this and in fact uh, it would have probably not fit uh, everything if I were to add anything or purchases or whatever so uh, <clears throat> so uh, this was useless also I took one of these uh, in case if I needed to attach with a clip uh, my camcorder so I wouldn't have to take my uh, tripod with me and in fact and I never did take the tripod with me but uh, the thing of the matter is that it was still useful useless so I just kept it in this side pocket all along and never had to use it okay this is a Steadicam uh, called Merlin and it's pretty heavy to tell you the truth uh, for the eye dances it was useful but there were not as many eye dances uh, that I filmed uh, that I thought I would so I think it's useless next time I will not take it because I could get around just by holding the camcorder in my hand uh, for the uh, the eye dance project uh, these are batteries uh, I took these batteries they are chargeable I took these batteries for the uh, the wireless kit if you can uh, see in uh, reflection on top of this camcorder is a, a receiver and it's for the wireless brick right here it's every filmmaker should have one of these you could connect through XLR okay to a microphone right here you see so <clears throat> Uh, only at one occasion I had to recharge it using this recharger so uh, within these past three months and uh, I did quite a few interviews using this microphone setup so this was completely useless I never got to use this because uh, there was no cases when I had to use the Lavalle uh, microphone as you can see this is Lavalle you just clip it on the shirt and uh, pretty much record what uh, the person has to say uh, you see these uh, flashcards and uh, SD cards. I never got to use them, so don't bother to take them if you uh, are a filmmaker, filmmaker like me. Uh, this pouch, you see, I hung on the belt, and I got uh, a camera stolen uh, from me because it was like very easy for the thief to uh, unzip it and just like take out the uh, the steel camera. So I'm really, I still pretty. I'm upset about that uh, particular loss because it was my brother's camera but anyway I took one hard drive 80 gigabytes uh, make sure uh, this particular camcorder that I'm recording on right now it's got 240 gigabyte hard drive so uh, availability wise it's about 220 gigabytes and I was doing the truth is project uh, in 10 countries so uh, I filled the, the hard drive pretty pretty quick and I think I think uh, for a three month trip filming around uh, in each country quite a few you know pieces of footage uh, you would need another additional external 250 gigabytes just to be on the safe side this is a cable and a recharger USB cable and a recharger for the mp3 player so it's essential you can uh, avoid not taking it <coughs> um, European uh, adapter you know just plug in from here and this turns it into European I took uh, about five of these or so 
Um, this is power strip saver. It's really convenient uh, for in case of uh, like in case if you only have one of these uh, adapters. So you just plug in into the wall. Boom. And you got three American standard kind of. Uh, of course, you know I, I had to buy this white thing separately, the splitter, but it it was useful. Okay, a marker, another marker. Um, so speaking of markers, to make signs, it's not best, especially if you are like a heavy uh, user of hitchhiking and auto stop, right? Uh, I wouldn't suggest using markers because they dry out quickly and the ink goes out really quick uh, to make big signs. So I figured I would just buy acrylic paint in, a, in an art store in, in Warsaw. So I bought this black acrylic paint, cost me about $6, 6 or something, something dollars. And then later on, down uh, along the road, uh, in Sofia, I bought white acrylic. So white, white. Uh, what I did is I would just block out, uh, just white out the, the letters, the, the previous letters on the sign with the new letters. And therefore saving on black color as well. Okay and this is a glue stick by scotch okay it's not really stick it's like you just squeeze it from one side and there, like there are two ways of doing it so I was using this in the beginning before I bought the white paint uh, hence uh, I was just gluing on uh, printer paper on top of the signs and uh, you know just making new signs uh, this is a cap from uh, one of those peanut butter uh, cans and I used it for just adding water here and then just making the sign on the road pretty much you know right there on the street and uh, I also bought a brush while uh, buying this acrylic paint this is a uh, USB uh, kind of a adapter for uh, connecting SD cards as well as macro SD cards micro SD cards and stuff like that you know what I mean so it's really useful for uh, you know putting stuff off your cam uh, what is it called uh, yeah steel camera as well as the phone in case if they're huge large files okay this particular bag contains the kits for uh, fixing uh, flat tires for your tubes and I bought two tubes two uh, two of tubes for my bike for the strider bike uh, although I have like really puncture resistant wheels and they never got punctured or anything it's just I took it just in case I bought it and in fact I had one flat in Vienna I don't know how in the world it, it happened but it just happened and I had and I just replaced it at a gas station okay what else so all of this all of this here was useless completely I took magic jack with me and uh, in case if you don't know what magic jack is it's really useful if you connect this to any computer connected to the internet high-speed internet and you can make phone calls just like like you could be in Japan or France or anywhere else and people can just call you on a regular landline uh, <clears throat> by uh, using a regular landline phone you see you hook it up here so it was useful because a uh, useless because uh, I only use Skype only like once a week to connect to my family and friends and uh, you know I never had to use that uh, what else this this cable for the microphone it's pretty heavy if you ask me but I never got to use it uh, this I never got to use as well I figured I would take it on the trip and I think it would be useful in other cases in case of uh, like uh, I'm running out of uh, power in my cell phone because of using uh, GPS but I never got to uh, use this but I think it's it's still useful I would take it on the next trip uh, this was useful one of those cassette adapters to connect uh, my mp3 player to you know when I'm hitchhiking on the road about four or five years ago I had to use this but nowadays no one uses the cassette uh, players in the cars so I was just using this cable in fact on a couple of occasions uh, connecting uh, to the auxiliary you know those stereos in cars uh, you just connect to auxiliary on one side and the other side is pretty much 
the same cable, you see the same output or input and you just connect it to the mp3 player uh, what else, what else, what else, that's pretty much it my friends and this, this bag it was hanging on the handlebar of my Strider bike and it contained in this compartment all of this painting kind of thing and there was also a bungee cord you see one of these black bungee cords and I used that for hanging the speaker on my neck to film the iDance project okay so and this bag the camera bag the camera was always here okay and I always kept the uh, the recharger and the cable for my phone right in this compartment so it's easy to access and and in case if my back backpack gets stolen or anything this is always in my hand or hanging on the strider so also in the back uh, there's the USB cable to connect the camcorder to any computer and upload the footage just like I did and there's the uh, the hookup to the television in case if I'm like at a couch surfing uh, a host and I wanted to show some footage from previous recordings I took uh, a uh, I kept uh, one of these uh, spoons, you know, teaspoons in this compartment and you will not believe it saved my ass so many times uh, when I needed to uh, to have some breakfast and I didn't have a place to to eat it. So I would just go to the supermarket and just pick up, uh, uh, you know, anything, uh, yogurt, whatever, whatever, and I would just eat it right there or on the bench next to the supermarket. What else? Uh, there is another... I never got to use uh, the wireless, uh, what is it called, uh, the, the, the remote for, for the camera. I think on one occasion I did use it, but not much. Two clips that were hanging on the handlebars and the third clip is the big one that uh, held this bag from this particular handle, okay. Recharger for the camcorder with its own, you know, what's it called the uh, adapter and it was on the bottom of this back and the camcorder was practically sitting on it now as you can see all of this was useless I picked up this bag this bag I only used for food when I'm hitchhiking so I would only fill up this bag hanging on top of this bag on the handlebars of my strata so what else that's pretty much it my friends I mean there is a there's nothing else I took. I took this bag separately. Separately. Imagine this. Um, uh, these caps I, I made myself from uh, Home Depot. Uh, what is it called? Uh, buckets. Okay. And I attached them to the wheels of my Strider to protect the disc brakes because you know they could be damaged if something falls into it or whatever. So in between of these brakes and the cap I use this foam okay so I took this uh, canvas bag with me and a uh, bunch of straps like this and I just rolled them around the the Kevlar based belt it's not a chain it's a belt to protect it from being hit by any anything sharp so it doesn't sever, se sever it and uh, that, my friends, is pretty much it. 24 minutes or 25 minutes of non-stop talking. That's pretty tiring if you ask me. Especially, especially after the fact that I, I'm still like kind of a jet lagged and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, I, I recommend anyone to take trips like this. It's, it's really, really uh, amazing and uh, like you discover a lot about yourself, about the fact that you can endure pretty much anything if you set your mind to things you know if, if you set your mind into like you know kind of a like you let you let things happen to you if you're open to 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 the world and the universe and uh, ama amazing things happen and uh, you will not believe uh, there were cases when I I didn't even know where I would end up at night and uh, everything would work out and like eventually I would I would have a place to stay and uh, sleep or whatever at night anyway I will talk to you sometime in the future but until next time 
Go for adventures, enjoy life like there is no tomorrow. Carpe diem, my friends.